up y'all it's your girl queen brianna and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel then welcome but if you're not new welcome back what's poppin so i am back we are back i haven't posted in like three weeks four weeks a month but i'm back now anyways as y'all can see i am in a different location i am in a car today and if y'all hear like some noise in the background it's the rain because it's raining and it's like making noise but whatever today i'll be doing a west on my iphone video i've been wanting to do this video for so so long and i'm finally getting around to it i actually got my phone in november of last year so i was supposed to do this video a long time ago and i actually did film this video back in november but the lighting was terrible the screen recording kept stopping and it was just it was just a whole lot of whole lot of so here i am doing it again so yeah i'll be showing you guys what's on my iphone all my apps and all of that it'll be really really fun i love watching these videos i think they're really interesting and you must think they interesting too because here you are watching this video before we get into this video make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up make sure you guys comment something down below and subscribe to my channel we are on the road to 300 subscribers so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and follow me on all of my social medias yeah with all of that being said let's just go ahead and get into the video all right y'all so sorry if the sound sounds a little bit weird i had to switch over to a different camera because i couldn't record this video on my phone of course but this is my phone it's the iphone 11 pro and it's really cute and this is my lock screen right here it's just a picture of me and my actual phone is silver it looks kind of white but it's very much silver first open up my phone this is my home screen and you swipe over and these are all my folders with all of my apps and stuff so we're going to start at the bottom so in this first folder i have my favorite apps i have instagram and y'all should go follow me on instagram if you don't follow me already because i'll be posting cute pictures and y'all need to go follow me and go like stuff then we got snapchat look at snapchat look at snapchat I don't really post on Snapchat that much, but y'all can still go follow me. Then we have Pinterest, and I don't be on Pinterest. I used to be on Pinterest a lot, but I don't really be on there that much anymore. Then we have Messages, then YouTube. You guys know what YouTube is because you're watching it right now. I haven't posted a video in three weeks. Then we have Netflix, then we have Phone, then we have Daily Horoscope. I go on this app almost every day and I read my horoscope. I'm a Taurus, so you can read your weekly horoscope, your daily horoscope, your yearly ho horoscope, all that. It's a really cool app. Then we have Sprinkle of Jesus, and that is the app that sends you like spiritual quotes every day. So yeah, so those are all of my favorite apps in that folder so then we go to the next folder which is the important stuff and these are like essential apps that you use like on a daily basis that comes with your phone the important stuff so we have facetime contact notes and notes comes in handy a lot like it's very essential i use notes a lot you can make reminders you can make lists you can just write so much stuff you can plan stuff out it's very useful then we have reminders then we have maps then settings, app store, where you download apps, the weather, the calendar, then clock and news. Then after that, we have my email and then Safari, which is the internet. So we're gonna start at the top up here, the very first one. So the very first app is Shortcuts. Don't use that, it came with my phone. I don't even know what that is. 
Then we have photos, camera, and then this folder right here called video team. So these are apps you can use to like make videos. So clips is an app that came with my phone, but it's really cool. It's like you can make a video and it'll put like your words on the screen that you're saying. Then pick play post is a video collage app where you can put videos in collages, obviously. Then InShot, that's the app that you can like crop videos with. I don't really use it that much. Then Lamotive, that used to be really popular, but people don't use Lamotive anymore. It's like you can make video collages, like put a whole bunch of videos and pictures in a video. And then Acapella, I love Acapella. It's so much fun. It's like you can make these singing videos. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's really fun though. You can make singing videos instruments like all right so the next folder is photo teams so these are photo editing apps so you got photo grid which is how you make photo collages then photo lab photo lab is like really really cool if you don't have photo lab then you're missing out so basically you go to categories and you can pick all these different frames to put your pictures in and it's so cool they have a lot of different frames a lot of different effects a lot of different collages you can put your picture on money then facetune 2 i don't use facetune but it's like this app where you can brighten your pictures then qg okay A few moments later. So yeah, that's what QG is. So in the next folder, we have the box. Not the box, the box. So this is like the folder with all of my music. That's why it's called the box. So we have Apple Music. I don't use Apple Music. We have iTunes Store. I don't use iTunes Store. Then I have SoundCloud. I only use SoundCloud if it's like a certain song that I want to hear at that moment because SoundCloud you can listen to like any song you want at any time so that's when I use SoundCloud then I have Shazam which is an app where like if you listen to a song and you don't know what it's called you can go on Shazam press the button and it'll tell you the name of the song and the artist it comes in handy a lot then we have Spotify which is an app where you listen to music I use Spotify a lot then I have funness so these are just the apps that are fun these are the turn up apps okay so i have dub smash i haven't used dub smash in so long it's an app where you make dance videos and do dance challenges and stuff then i have bitmoji for snapchat then i have buzzfeed so buzzfeed is that app y'all be sleep on buzzfeed basically on buzzfeed you can take all these really fun personality quizzes and stuff like it's so much fun and then you can also read like news articles and stuff that's going on like BuzzFeed is where it's at BuzzFeed has so much to offer and it's just so much fun 10 out of 10 highly recommend okay we have Triller which is an app where you can make music videos and I have Funimate basically Funimate is just an app where like you can edit videos and add effects and transitions and all that cool stuff but People don't really be using Funimate like that anymore. Then we got TikTok. We got TikTok. So TikTok, y'all know what TikTok is. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, you need to go follow me. I haven't posted any videos, but I'm posting soon. New video on the way, so go follow me. Then we have Apple TV. And I recently just started using Apple TV. It came with my phone, but I didn't use it. But it's actually really cool. Like, they have so many movies on there. Then HBO Max. And then we have Petty Wednesday. So Petty Wednesday is an app where it sends you like these these messages every day. Like it'll send you like petty messages every day. And that's what we like to see. Then in the next folder is the arcade. Because these are all my games. And y'all know arcade games. So that's why it's called the arcade folder. Because this is where my games are. Y'all catch the drift. So in the arcade, the first game, so I don't play all these games. I have a lot of games, but I don't play all these. So I have Episode, which is just an app where like you read these stories. But I don't be on Episode anymore because the stories are getting very repetitive. They're getting very boring, and I feel like they all have the same typical storyline. So I don't be on Episode that much no more. 
then we got family feud live now this so this app is so much fun it's just like family feud you answer family feud questions oh my god the rain is just not letting up on me is it you answer family feud questions and you battle like against real people and it's really fun so then we have driving academy 2 which is just a driving game also really fun then we got Mario Kart. Remember Mario Kart was so popular and now people don't even be talking about Mario Kart like no one even plays Mario Kart anymore. I am one of those people who don't even play Mario Kart anymore, but I still have the app on my phone. Then we have BitLife. And let me tell y'all, BitLife is the best game ever. I love this game so much. I play this game religiously like i'm always playing bit life this is my favorite game ever i've been playing it for like a year now if you don't have bit life you're missing out on life and you need to go download it it's like a life simulator app and like it's so much you can do on it 10 out of 10 highly recommend then we have thief robbery which is a game where like you're like this robber and you drive around to different businesses and houses and stuff and you rob it and try not to get caught then we have stored it 3d so this game i haven't played this in a, in a long time basically what you have to do is you have to store all the balls by color it's like a puzzle strategy type of game yeah then i have heads up i don't play heads up the only reason why i have heads up is because you have to pay for it and they did this thing where it was going to be free for a limited time so i said let me download it then then we have the sims i play sims mobile i love the sims i really want to get sims 4 but you got to download it and pay for it and all of that and who got time for all that so i play sims mobile this is my little house super duper cute then we have tower run which is another game let me out that's a puzzle game then we have spongebob crusty crab cook off something like that this game is so much fun like this is great for all ages just because it's spongebob don't mean that it's not great for all ages like this game is really really fun start off cooking pancakes then you cook crabby patties then barbecue then you go to the um to the other restaurants like it's so much fun like i love playing this game so much i used to play this a lot i highly recommend y'all y'all go play this game because it's fun don't be sleeping on spongebob please please don't play with the bob okay and asmr slicing this is just a game where you just slice stuff supposed to make like those little asmr sounds or whatever then money buster another game cube surfer another game tie-dye it's this game where you like make tie-dye shirts sneaker art this is a really cute game it gives you like a shoe and you have to like design and decorate the shoe you can also make your own designs and then you can get all type of new shoes like jordans nikes and all of that to decorate it's really fun and then line up another game i have a lot of games anyway moving on next folder fatness so this is the food folder. I have Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks a lot. The only reason why I have the Starbucks app is because when I do go, I go on the app and I look at the menu to see what I want. Then I have Chick-fil-A, favorite restaurant ever. I begin my little Chick-fil-A point or whatever. So then I have edible arrangements and I need to delete this app because I don't even use this app. It's like you can order chocolate covered fruits and stuff but i don't even do that i don't know why i have that then i got tasty so it's an app that gives you like cooking recipes and i just like looking at the food videos and watching them cook the food then i have zaxby's and then i have mcdonald's i don't even be eating at mcdonald's the only reason i have the mcdonald's app is because free french friday you had to download the app or whatever so i had downloaded the app and i never deleted it then the next folder is called blow bag so these are like the shopping apps my favorite folder so i have wish and y'all be sleep on wish y'all be acting like wish just be out here scamming people and they don't just because they cheat don't mean they be scamming people like they be having really cute phone cases and stuff on here like wish is really where it's at and y'all really be sleep on wish like look at these cute cases a lot of cute cases be on wish and they be good quality then i have amazon then forever 21 wrong way i've never ordered anything from wrong way before then i have shein 
I don't be ordering stuff from Shein either, but I love looking at their clothes. Then I have Fashion Nova, my favorite one. Then Free Prints, which is an app where you can get pictures printed out. Then UPS and USPS, so when I order stuff, I can track them in the mail. Then I have Photo Books, which is an app where you can get like books made with your pictures in it. Then I have Tastify, which is an app where you make custom phone cases. So yeah, Tastify, you make custom cases. Then I have the Apple Store, Walmart, AliExpress. I've never ordered from AliExpress before, but I really want to because they have a lot of cute stuff and they stuff be cheap. Then I have Poshmark because I wanted to start selling like stuff on Poshmark, but I haven't done it yet. Then I have the two, these are the YouTube apps. I have Intro Maker and I have iMovie, which is what I use to edit. I have Canva. I used to use this to make thumbnails, but I don't use it anymore. But it's also really good to make like invitations, flyers, posters, all that stuff. Then I have Pixar. I use that for my thumbnail. Then I have Fonto. I also use that for my thumbnail. YouTube Studio, that's how you see like your YouTube analytics and that's how you change your thumbnails and stuff. Then I have Video Leap, which is another editing app, but I don't use it that often. Then in the next folder, Health and Lifestyle, Life Cycle. This is an app that basically, it tracks where you go. It tells you where you go, how long you spend there, how long you sleep, all that stuff. Like, it's creepy. Then I have Workout Women. This is a great app. Like, you can go on this app and you can choose, like, workouts that you want to do, like, leg workouts, arm workouts. And it'll give you, like, really good exercises to do. It'll do a countdown for you. It'll tell you how many calories you burn, all that good stuff. The health app, which came with my phone. Then I have Elevate and Peak. Those are like apps that strengthen your brain. It has like brain exercises and stuff. Then Relax Melodies, which is an app where you can go on there and listen to like relaxing sounds like rain and thunder and all that stuff. Then Extra, these are apps that I don't use. They came with my phone. I'm not going to go in depth because I don't use none of these. Then Big Bank, I have Cash App. Y'all should Cash App me. Then I have school, the school folder, remind my teachers be sending. Well, when we was in school, because y'all know we not in school no more, but my teachers used to send me messages on remind. Then campus portal, whatever it's called, that's how you see your grades and your schedule, your attendance, all that. Calculator, and then the printing app, which is how you print from your phone. Then in the next folder, we have the watch. So basically, these are all the apps for my Apple Watch activity. That's like shows you like the calories you burn, how long you stood up that day, how much you exercise, all that good stuff. And you also get like awards and stuff for completing the exercises or whatever. Then I have Vegas Bowling and Bubblegum Hero. Those are just games that I downloaded for my Apple Watch. And then I have the Apple Watch app, which is how you change the wallpaper and stuff. And then last but not least, I have Twitter. I don't know why I have Twitter. I think I'm going to delete it because I don't have an account. I've been trying to figure out if I should make an account. And I just don't know if I want an account or not. But it's been on my phone for like a week and a half now. Might delete Twitter. I don't really know if I make an account. Y'all will know. But until then. So, yeah, y'all. That is everything that is on my phone. Those are all my apps, my games, all that good stuff. Switch back over to my camera now. So, you know, the audio and stuff might be better now. But besides from that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was long overdue. I got my phone back in November. And I've been wanting to do this video ever since then. But I just never sat down and did it. And I finally did it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and comment something down below. Comment what y'all want me to do next on my channel. And of course, subscribe. We are on the road to 300 subscribers, so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my social medias. I'll put the usernames up on the screen, so make sure y'all follow me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't posted a video in a long time, in like three weeks. But I am back and I am better than ever with new content. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.